Have you ever had a crush on an animated character before? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, everybody has had to say Jessica Rabbit, right? I mean, come on. That's what she, that's what she was built for. <laughs> Almost. I mean, literally. Um, and then I'm trying to think who else. And probably, like, oh, who else? We know who I always thought. Not, not a crush, like, uh, in, in the sexual way, but I always had a, a, a fond, um, uh, I, I cared for a great deal. I thought he was really sweet. Uh, dopey. 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 Dopey Dorf. Uh, Dopey, the, you know, of the Seven Dwarves. That, I always thought, I just liked his ears, and I was always like, ah, oh, his hat's too big, Think, you know. A lot of the film is about seeking guidance from others. Who have been people in your career that have kind of lit the way for you? Um, I've worked with, I've, I've worked with amazing people, from Birdie Sweeney, who was an Irish actor I worked with, on Ballycus Angel when I started out 12, 13, 14 years ago, to... Brendan Gleeson, whose work I grew up watching and loving and, and got to work very closely with and someone I'd call a friend. And I, I've, worked with, I've worked with amazing people through the years, but there's been people who aren't anything to do with film and movies who would probably be more significant guiding lights in my life, you know, certain friends and relatives and people, you know, fragmented conversations I've had in the wee hours of the morning through the years with people that I never met after that night and, and, but who had a profound effect on me, and, you know. The film is based on Brave Good Bugs, a children's book. Is there a book from your childhood that you would love to see made into a film one day? Yeah, um, sure. Like an animate into an animated film? Yeah, golly, yeah. Um, a book from my childhood. I feel like they've done them all. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, nothing I can think of off the top. Maybe redo, like do a spin on, you know, of something that's been already made. Uh, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe a new animated Alice in Wonderland. I know we did the, you know, we did the, we did the, the Tim Burton one, but I, I love that story. I think it's fascinating. Maybe an animated version with this, with this 3D world that we actually get to go down the rabbit hole with, or might be, might be kind of funky. I mean, this was less of an, it was, this was less, not less involving, because when we were working on it, it was very involving, but less of a commitment. You know, usually a film takes three or four or five months to do, and, and this was um, this was five or six sessions, about four or five hours a session. Uh, I love films. It was different. Yeah, it was different. It was fun. It was fun. As I said, you know, if you do a film for three or four months, it, it becomes not your whole life, but it becomes a really big part of your life for a while. So there's a certain level of immersion and involvement in that that's that can be a pain in the ass at times, but it's a really cool thing as well, you know. And, you like what you're doing and this was fun this was fun i mean i really enjoyed it not having a camera there judging <laughs> uh you know just using your voice it was kind of like mask work in a way there was a kind of sense of liberation with that i mean i had seen some of the just seen when i met them first when i met chris first he showed me some of the artwork and i just thought it was one of the most beautiful things i'd seen so it was really cool seeing the film and seeing it all brought to life so i think the great thing about your films is that they appeal to both adults and kids alike oh, good. How do you go about, you know, creating a project that, you know, captures the attention of both age groups? Oh, I don't know. I've been young and I've been old. I kind of know. I think we all share a lot of common experience, and and uh, I think I think the things that that people think are just for kids or things that they think are just for adults aren't necessarily true. I know when I was a kid I aspired up to what the adults were talking about and doing and I wanted to see the movies that uh, that showed things that I didn't I didn't get, you know. So so part of this is, you know, there's a lot of gigantic action and fun imaginative adventure in this thing I think, but you know, there's also some very nuanced relationships between characters that I think kids will may not get every note, but you know, they're going to understand.